There it's going now. Okay. Okay. All right. So um, we have this control panel, and we'll start out with some of the important these switches here. Like we, for example, we got this is a water switch. This turns on the water to to uh, pressurize our water system. Um, you know, the, right now the the trailer is running off of onboard water or, or a potable water tank that's underneath the trailer. So um, that water is not pressurized, so that's why we use the water pump. We turn on the water pump, and that, that's an so open this is the on position. Yeah, that's the on position. Right there. I see it's lit. Okay. Yeah. All right. So right there, the water system is pressurized, and it's not necessarily running just because it's on. It's an on-demand pump, so right. it will only run when it senses it needs to run to right. maintain right. pressure. Then we have a water heater that runs on on uh, electric and gas. Okay. So that's gas, that's electric, and you simply... So I can it, run it on one or the other or both? It, correct. Okay, correct. so with both I'll get faster recovery. Uh, faster recovery, and that, that's maximum. So if you're going to like, take a shower, you probably want to run, run both at the yeah, same time, right. 15 minutes prior to right. getting in the shower. That way you, you don't run out. Um, but like if you're at a campground and you're plugged into electric and you don't have an immediate news, use for a lot of water then probably just run on electric and conserve uh, propane yeah but uh, yeah when you need a lot you're going to use both cap lights those are the pretty lights on the front of the trailer okay um cabin lights right there that's bedroom bedroom lamps also have individual switches on them more cabin lights this is the awning led strip that goes outside auxiliary lighting that's like underneath here in the, in the bottom of the trailer okay Slide. Th this moves the slide in and out. Okay. That's this slide room come right. probably all the way up to here. Okay. Um, awning that moves the awning in and out. Okay. Um, this right here is an on-off switch for uh, the 12 volts. Everything that runs on 12 volts inside the trailer. So. So that's a disconnect. The main disconnect. Disconnect. Okay. Right. Exactly. So. So what when you say everything that runs on 12 volt, that's all the lights, the refrigerator also. Uh, the refrigerator. Keep in mind though, however, if we're put right now we're plugged in the short power, so I can turn this. You know, right now. Oh, it is on. So that's on. On. That's off. In is off. So right there, it's off, but you know that everything is still is still running. The, the one important difference is that if it's... Um, Do I have to turn it to turn it off? A little bit. You have to wait. It's brand new, so when they're brand new, they're a little bit sticky. But okay, so in, I'm sorry. Which which is off? In, in is off. Okay. Out is on. Okay. All right. So right now, you, you'll notice that we still have electricity. You know, it's right. because that we're plugging in the short power. If I disconnect the short power, it's going to go off. Okay. Um, however, the important difference is with it in... There is a charging system that charges the batteries continuously when it's when it's plugged in. So that's behind this this uh, breaker box, this breaker panel here. Down on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So right now, when it's plugged, when it's in, when it's turned off, the charging system is not working. It's cut cutting off access to the battery. So um, when you, if it was real quiet, you could hear the cooling fan running. But when I pull it out. You hear the cooling fan run over there. Okay, That's so the if, if I've got charts. it sitting, say I've got it in in a storage yard, you know, next to the house or whatever, uh -huh. I want the battery to keep charging, so I should probably always leave it on. Leave that on, yes, okay. correct. If and you it, have that turned off, that means you can have it plugged in, but no charge is getting to the battery. If you're towing it down the road, as long as that's out, the truck is providing some kind of trickle charge to the batteries. Okay. If that's in, then there's no charge getting to the battery. Okay, so the batteries are totally out of the loop when you push that in basically yeah. Yeah. okay uh -huh. so Absolutely. does the 12 volt run the tv uh 12 volt will not run the tv you okay. have to have uh, short power to run the tv so all you're running is the refrigerator and the lights basically the yeah well it, it it's uh most things in here will run without uh, uh short power so things that that will require short power is the tv and this air conditioner right and this microwave right okay um so without that, in the charging system, obviously, uh, but right. everything else... Water pump, run, all that other stuff is running. Uh, everything else is on 12 right. volts. Right. Um, the, um, 
you know, it's very efficient. All the stuff that that's using 12 volts is super efficient. These LED lights that are in here, right? Super efficient. They don't use hardly any electricity. Right. Um, same thing goes for this refrigerator. You know, it runs on 12 volts. Um, so as long as it's got 12 volts, it can run. You can't you can't turn that off. Um, also, additionally, here we have this status panel that shows us our charge. Like for example, battery that shows us that it's fully charged. However, this is kind of, right now the battery could be totally dead and it'll show full because we're plugged in the short power. Yeah. So to get a true reading of what the battery is, is the, stat, the state of charge of the battery, you have to disconnect the short power and then press this button. Then okay. it'll give you a more accurate reading. Right. Uh, fresh water tank shows us we've got two thirds of a tank of uh, fresh water. Black tank, we got a little bit of water in there because we've been testing stuff, you know, just flushing the toilet several times. Make sure that's working. Um, gray tank, we got a little bit in there too. Not much. Then auxiliary tank, you don't have an auxiliary tank. You just got the the one tank. That's mainly for traders that have a two tank, two gray tanks. Okay. So uh, you have those those uh, three different tanks to contain with fresh water. Obviously, it's the potable water that comes out these faucets, your shower. Um, and then the gray tank is everything that comes down the sink or the sink in the bathroom. Right. Um, and then black water, of course, is what goes down the toilet. So you've got three dependent tanks. So when we're hooked up to the drinking hose, mm -hmm. um, it bypasses the pump? or Bypass it, yeah. It, when you're, you're hook, hooked up to uh, city water, um, like in a campground, um, you turn off the, the water Turn pump. off your water pump. Turn off the water pump because you no longer need it. Okay. Uh, so it bypasses the onboard freshwater tank, so all the water is routed to the, to the okay. faucets. Okay. You know, so you don't have to use any of that. Um, so um, let's see, the other thing, we have a radio here. It's also a DVD player to place through this TV that does have t independent zones, like for example, but you have inside and outside. Okay, zone one is inside. Or zone two is inside. So right now I'm playing I'm playing zone one which is outside. And that's coming up the outside speaker. Okay. But let's say you do want you want to do inside and not outside, like at night you want to destroy your neighbor, right, you can right. do, you can do that. So right. a very capable system. Right. Obviously it does uh, AM, FM, Bluetooth. And it will play DVDs. Okay. And it's got oh, I see. Inputs. It does have an, an output for headphones. Yeah, okay. and it's got outputs, um, and it's got the additional inputs for a USB, for a flash drive, or anything like that. Are there any any outputs on the back? Um, on this radio, no. The okay. radio, you're talking about the radio itself, right. no. Right. right. No, no, no. no oh, so the DVD there. player obviously will. Well, yeah, it's going to. That, that, that's that's wired into this. It's got a cable there where it's plugged into this TV. So sound will come through the TV from here. Uh, from this, yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, and also movies. You know, you play the right, right, it's right, right, right. Okay. Broadcast through this, but it does have inputs for for um, you know HDMI, right. Bluetooth, now as well as an aux in. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice little radio. Yeah. Um, you have a remote for your TV right there. Okay. By pulling this, this strap it releases the TV so it can you know you can turn it turn it around it'll pivot quite quite a bit okay under here that little red light you see there see that All right that is a TV antenna so on on the the roof of the trailer um, there is a TV antenna an HD TV antenna that's uh, boosting all the input you know all the signals that it's receiving um, normally you want to have that on if you turn it off you may not if this is a stronger station so it's coming in pretty good you might see a little bit of pixelation from time to time but with the TV booster on you know you shouldn't have any pixelation so this is receiving HD digital stations right now local local, local. Area okay yeah. so this is local area channels okay correct yeah yeah right. so and you know it's a pretty good system. You get about, like around here, we get about 25, 27 channels. Right. You know, in the local area. Okay. Um, importantly, however, if you um, if you're at a campground, they have free cable, like a coax that goes into the side of the trailer, and I'll show you where that is. You want to turn that off. Right. Because it's being piped into the to the system through this same cable. Right. So, 
meaning it's going to amplify the booster is going to boost the the cable signals and it's not meant to do that they're going to come up mixed up and you're not going to yeah. get no pictures yeah, right so if you're going to get you take advantage of free cable somewhere turn this off right okay so you also have you know outlets there um there's an additional switch for this accent light back here and it's kind of hidden away you just have to remember when you're when you're breaking camp getting ready to move out you're looking to turn everything off don't forget that switch hidden okay. away back here okay um then we have this stove that is basically like a like a uh, uh, you know like a barbecue grill kind of you just turn these on the red indicates that the gas is on and then this is the striker for all the burners so okay also for the oven down here so it's a striker okay yeah it, it's 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 uh Yeah, so if you notice those little white yeah, things right there, those yeah. are the strikers. So anytime right. you turn this, it's sending spark okay. to all. Just like a camp stuff. Yeah, I have yeah. one. I have one before. Yeah, camp more exactly. or something. Yeah. Now you can't see it here, but the one for the oven is also sending a little spark okay. there. So, right. uh, up, you light up the controls for the for the stove. Down, stove and light inside the the uh, oven there. So, okay. Hey good. Chris, what's up? what's up, Chris? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. Not propane. Speaking of propane, yeah. you also have a propane leak detector um, right around the corner there. That little black thing. Oh, okay. So at the bottom, okay. Yeah, um, that serves a couple purposes. So the the when right. it's got a propane leak, hey, it's gonna it's gonna be a constant beep beep like just you know just nonstop. Not, not to be confused with this thing does not use batteries it's wired into the trailer um, if it if the battery is low on the trailer if it's just not not connected to short power just you know running on the on the onboard battery and it's low that thing's gonna beep like every I don't know 20 seconds or so just beep like a smoke detector that needs a new yeah, battery exactly yeah, right. so not so don't confuse those two sometimes we get calls with people like hey i've turned off my propane and i'm still that thing's still going off right and it's probably a low battery indicator right. not necessarily right. the propane leak right. detector that's part of it that's going off so um, be aware of that um you have a smoke detector right there um is smoke and carbon monoxide or just smoke that's just, that just smoke like is there a carbon monoxide detector in the this unit? This one, no, okay. no sir. Uh, sometimes, like they have some of those that are like combination, right. LP and carbon monoxide. That one is not. Okay, so, all right. Um, this is the output for your air conditioner. This is where the AC comes out. These little things that you can close off, and also these vents. Okay. Around the Just keep in mind, like if you want to blast the cold air, you can open this vent. Right. A whole bunch of air will come out through here. However, anytime these are open, that means less air is coming out through those vents. Okay. So if at night you're laying in bed and thinking like I'm not getting much air over here, it's probably that these are open. Well, mind. so this this other unit, what does it do? What, it, what is you that? Got, you got a second unit in there. Oh, yeah. Well, that that one you have. Um, are they all on the same ducts? Or? No, I think there, they got there's different. There's that one, and here's another. There's one. another control. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's got its own separate control. So this is probably just these ducts in here, and that one's for the rest of the unit, or well, we'll, we'll figure it out when we turn it the, off. <laughs> well, okay. Well, there's a common duct that runs this. Like when this AC is running, you'll get air out those ducts. Out of these. Because okay. the base model of this comes with just a. a I see. It's already installed like, a like that. There. Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. So. Um, this is additional cooling. It's, it's extra capacity, yeah, okay. extra air and stuff. Right. So. Like Louisiana in August. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. Over here, we don't order them with, with only one AC. If it's right. capable, it's right. going to come with two. Right. Um, so, yeah, and as far as these thermostats, they operate just like a thermostat at home would. You know, like right there, it's off. You're going to cycle through. That's just fan by itself. Fan high. Cool. And that's air conditioner. Cool high. Air conditioner cool low. That's going to control your fan or speed. Auto, or right there, it's an auto limited to low, auto limited to high. And then we have heat. So auto is, um, that's turning the unit on and off. It's not going to run continuously. Uh, it's not going to run continuously, and it'll yeah. run until it achieves whatever temperature you set. And it'll set stop. Okay, that. correct. Uh, and you got a nice roomy closet back here. It's got, a, it's got an outlet inside the closet as well as a light. Okay. And 
coat. Coat hangs in there. All right. Fire extinguisher should be needed. Before we get too far past it, <coughs> the converter right here, that's how's that accessible? It's just, I mean, are, is there, are there breakers in there? Yeah. What's this inside? Yeah, this is, this is where we're headed to. Okay. So, on the left side, you have 110 breakers. They're, as you can see, they're all labeled. Yeah. On the right side, you have 12 volt fuses, automotive type fuses. Okay. So, important to have um, some extras of those fuses just in case. I see you got a main just like on a house. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and then there's a little window, there's a little smoke piece of plexiglass right there on the right side of that door that closes it. Oh, okay. So, if a fuse goes out, you're going to see a red LED light. Okay. That will be visible through this little, little uh, uh, window. So if you come into the trailer and you see a red light through that, peeking out through that, that cover, through that uh, lens there, okay. you know, the fuse went out. Okay. So, um, unlike and your car or truck, it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world if a fuse goes out. If a, if a fuse goes out in my truck, it, it's a pretty good indication there's some kind of serious problem going right. on. But right. on the trailer, there's a lot of things that can cause a fuse to go out and it doesn't necessarily mean... Something and this wrong. this ventilation grill under the that's where the furnace okay that's where the furnace that's where the furnace is sucks okay. in air okay so that's the plenum okay right, right. so right. when the um, furnace is running uh, heat is not going to come out through these ducts up here it comes out through these I see them now on the side lower yeah, yeah you right. like see that one right there right yeah. that's where the furnace your bathroom has some bedroom has some back there okay so that's where the furnace comes out. Um, now, if, if I read, is is it ducted going into the belly of the unit also? Is there a duct? It, it, there's duct? There's duct work, so you'll get you'll heat. Keep, yeah, there's like ducts that they go into there. That, um, you can probably see them through here. You can see some of the ducts there. Okay. And they go down into the bottom. So that's to help with the, the tanks yeah, when it's cold. Yeah, to keep the tanks warm and right. stuff. Um, now, the, uh, you have a vent. Is that a recirc or it goes out through the it roof? Goes, I think it goes out to the outside. We'll see okay. it when we walk okay. around. Then right. you have a light here. Okay. Uh, microwave works like a regular microwave. It's a conventional microwave. And storage space. Okay. Right there you have an outlet. That is also a, a GFI um, outlet. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's got a reset button there. Right. Um, most of these outlets on this trailer are routed through that thing so if you have an outlet like let's say that one in the closet in there that doesn't work check that reset button it's probably the is there an outlet on the outside uh, i'm sorry is there an outlet on the outside yes there's an okay. outlet on the outside so it's probably it's probably hooked yeah, up to that same gfi right, exactly okay. since it's a small right. trailer right. you know relatively speaking compared to a house right they just have one right so that's there then you do have Two sets of keys. Then you have your sink. And it's got a little bit of air in the, in the line. And, right. and I think you have very hot water. Right. Okay. How is it plumbed underneath? Is it a conventional trap or? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's like okay. a all right. okay. heat trap. And all right. Um, that is all your owner's manuals and stuff for the okay. trailer. Okay, all right. Do, do you have an additional line under here? Okay. Now, the, these are not controlled through that control panel. Back here, you have another faucet here. You can hear the, the pump running. Right. It will turn off once it senses it doesn't need to run anymore. You get a whole bunch of space in here. Right. Yeah, they got a yeah, a lot, of, a lot of storage in there. Yeah. I mean, this unit has a lot of storage. Everywhere. It's, that's it does. One of the things I liked about it. Yeah, it really has a lot of storage. RV toilet. Press slightly to uh, fill up the bowl to whatever level you think you need for what you're about to do. Press it all the way. Okay. To uh, empty it. Do you always want water on the seal, I assume, or a little bit? Yeah, but yeah, a little bit. It helps yeah. to keep odors, you know, from right. rising up. Uh, most important, you always want a little bit of water in that tank. Never use that the toilet with the black tank empty. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, um, at least three gallons of water. 
would be good. And yeah. some chemical specifically made for uh, uh, RV holding tanks. Okay. And never put anything down this toilet other than human waste and uh, RV toilet paper. Do right. not use con regular household right. uh, toilet paper. So. Yeah, I remember that. You can show me outside. I remember the motorhome we had years ago. I think I had bring the hose through the window and a yeah. oh, hose flush it. Well, it was, you know. You, yeah, to flush the. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you really wanted to make sure you got all the, the, the right, little right. scraps right. out of it and everything. Your, your monitor panel being right. correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have a little fan in here, exhaust fan. Okay. And, and you turn this knob to open okay. the, the vent. All right. Now, this uh, shower. Very roomy shower. Just make sure when you travel, you block this thing. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, these things will vibrate till they break. And this okay. is like real glass. Okay. And warranty will not cover broken glass. Okay. Again, another outlet here in the bathroom that's routed through that All right. that, that uh, reset button over there. Okay. Your storage. This refrigerator Look at is that side. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, it's got yeah, a lot of room deep. in the freezer. Yeah, this is it, this is not like the old old style ones that ran up propane and 110. They have to have the the, the, the cooling coils in the back and inside the refrigerator. Actually, <coughs> took up a lot of space, so now they give you a lot more space. Where are the cooling coils for the refrigerator? Um, in the back of in the back of the refrigerator, but okay. they're real thin. But they're not as good, not yeah. as when you had the gas unit, it took more room. Yeah, the, the old style that that circulated uh, ammonia. Right. They were bigger, physically thicker. Yeah. Plus, you had these fins that were inside the refrigerator, yeah. and all that meant you had less space inside. Right. These are very thin mesh that goes across the back, and it doesn't take much space, so it okay. enables you to have a deep refrigerator. It's a nice size freezer. It is, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and it's very efficient. Um, so you can right now it's on, obviously indicated by that blue light. You can turn it off by long pressing this. Right there, okay. we're off. Turn it back on. Back on. So let's say we want to control set the temperature for the the freezer. We're going to press that, change the blue light to this here, and we can adjust it. However, we see fit. You know, five is the high, is the coldest setting. Um, three somewhere in the middle. Oh, no, so five, five. The higher number is a colder setting. Oh, correct. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and then we go. We're going to change to controlling this right here. Okay. The refrigerator section. So, right there, that's also set to five, and we can adjust that <coughs> to, to three. Something. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're right there, Chris. We'll make it. Yeah. <laughs> then this this last piece here. Uh, this is us. Uh, what they call sleep mode <clears throat> right there when that blue light is on sleep mode is on um, when sleep mode is on the there's a fan inside you know that cools off that coil that runs um, <clears throat> when this thing is on sleep mode supposedly that cooling fan runs at a lower speed that way you don't hear it if you're sleeping I don't know I've never heard it myself but supposedly it, if it's really quiet you can hear that okay also it, it uh, important to note that if it's running on sleep mode it's not cooling as well it doesn't have the capacity it doesn't have the same capacity right. so it may not cool your food real good right. so sleep mode should if, if you use it don't use it for longer than just during the night okay Let me turn that off so yeah pretty pretty neat okay um back here you have your your recliners those are manual recliners All right you got a little bit of storage there in the center yeah and these are mounted now okay yeah they were Okay. And then you have a remote. Storage a remote. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got USB chargers for iPads, iPhones, whatever. Okay. Um, and then you have a, a little table that that mounts in there. Right. That's, that's yeah, we that yeah, we saw that. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, in the demo. Is this storage under here or? Yeah, or this is a little storage. Okay. All right. For, okay. And this is not there? movable. No, that's okay. not movable. Uh, these shades are manual. You just pull them up and down. Okay. You do have an additional light here. All right. Um, let's see. Working our way towards the bedroom. Oh, and that's some <clears throat> gifts that Chris okay. brought you. All right. Thank you. Um, this back here is your emergency exit. 
So, in theory, like, you know, God forbid you, you need to get out of here in a hurry. That, ac that access is blocked. You want to grab this and just yank this. The screen will come off. Okay. And you shove this through, and you can just push it all the way out. It'll go all the way out. Okay. Way out. All right. And you're going to go out big first. Always never head first. All right. This can also be used as a window, though. I mean, you can sit that For right ventilation. There. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just works as a regular window. All right. It's closing in. Just slide this here. Uh, does have a mount for an additional TV. All right. It's got a, a reinforcement board right there for, for you to mount a bracket. If you buy a bracket, like we sometimes install TVs for, for customers that right. want an extra TV. Um, and we usually it's as simple as getting a bracket that's like $9 at Walmart. Um, and put a little TV right there. Okay. Um, Important to know, whatever bracket you put in there, do not use the mounting bolts that they That's what I was going to ask. I don't that, think you can go, they're, about they're too long. long. Yeah. And you're going to have one coming out the other side, yeah. which is outside. So So you'll be through bolting. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, the thickness is fine. It just get one, it, take one and go to Home Depot and get one half the size and you right. should be okay. Right. Uh, you will want to drill a pilot hole. It's like if, if I'm putting mounting a bracket at home, I just power through it with my, with right. my gun. But right. here... Because the wood is all thinner, yeah. it, it, you could split the wood. So right. Okay. Mount of you know drill a little pilot hole. Right. More storage. And you have this stuff here. You got more. Right. Storage there. Lights. And USB. Then you have USB ports right. back there. Another receptacle over here. They have yep. a receptacle on that one. Receptacle too? Yeah. on this side as well. All right. And you got some storage underneath. And you got your second AC. Right. Okay, very nice. Yeah, very nice layout. I'm trying to think. Um... <clears throat> this door, make sure you, uh, when you travel, the sliding pocket door right. is strapped in. Okay. Otherwise, you'll arrive somewhere and this thing's going to be off the rails. And these things, I can tell you from past experience, these are hard to get back on that on that track. So, oh, I got to turn this. Yeah, turn okay. that, and then you then it slides. Yep. Okay. Lock him in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't lock me in. <laughs> okay. So we just need to strap that around. Okay. Yep. Right there. We're locked back okay. in. Let's head outside and we can go around the outside.